So there's a little bit of YouTube magic for, for you guys. Don't laugh at me because that was my first time trying it. It's probably awful. Um, but this is one of Sparrow's favorite meals and I'm so glad he likes it because it's healthy. It's really yummy for him. He loves it. Like before he went down for a nap, he asked for cucumber hummus. And so I'm going to show you guys it really quick. Um, so he has, what I do is I get cucumber. Sometimes I shave it, sometimes I don't. This time I did. Um, so it's cucumber. I put a little bit of hummus on it and then I put tomatoes on the top, which I think are so cute. Normally I'll pair it with like another vegetable on the side, so like corn and then maybe like a little bit of goat cheese or something. But today I just had some pineapple. He's been loving, loving, loving pineapple lately. And so I had a couple of extra little shaved pieces of cucumber and then some pineapple for him. Normally we give him a really tiny lunch because it's like he gets down and wants to eat more and so I'll give him more like um, a type of grain. But this is just what he's having today. So it's just cucumber, hummus, tomatoes, um, and pineapple. And he's yelling so we're going to go in here and we're going to go wake him up and see. Sparrow! He's sleeping in Bodhi's room today for his nap. Hi, dude! Let some light in here. So, he's, yeah, he's been napping in Bodhi's crib because um, Cody's sleeping for the day in Sparrow's room. So, how did you nap, bud? See, we are going to get this haircut tomorrow. So you can see again, everyone's going to be so happy about that. I'm going to show you guys some of these cute little Polaroid pictures that we took the other day. If they'll focus. Let's see. Focus. It doesn't want to focus on Daddy, it. Daddy, No. Oh, that's because we have it on. Guys, this whole time <laughs> it's because I had it on like manual. <laughs> that's probably why nothing is focused. Anyways, I'll show you guys some of these cute little. Polaroids that me and the boys took the other day. How, like how adorable. Cute. I want to get like a little book for them because I have so many that's like typical squirrel. You want some cocoa while you? That's what he calls it. So cute. Anyways, I'm going to get him out. We're going to go get him some lunch and then mommy's going to get ready for work. His hair is crazy. Yeah. Lunch. You want cucumber hummus? hummus. Okay, let's get out. Okay. Shut the door really quick. So good morning, guys. I don't even think that I said that this morning. Um, I think I kind of just jumped into the vlog, but it's actually afternoon. So good afternoon, guys. There's a couple different things that we have to go over really quick. So I'm gonna try and do that as fast as I can so I don't waste a whole bunch of time. Uh, first things first, the addiction video, my story is going to come out, Mon it's gonna be Monday, January, excuse me, Monday, June 25th, not January. So Monday, June 25th. Um, so it's a little bit over a month out. I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to edit the story to feel good about it, to read it, to feel emotionally invested in it, and to be prepared for a lot of people to know our story. Um, so like I said before, if you don't want to watch any of the vlogs or the stuff in between, you can just wait for June 25th. That's when uh, the addiction story is going to be coming out. Um, like I said, we're doing this for ourselves, taking the time that we need for ourselves. So I hope that you guys can understand that, but that way if you guys don't want to see the vlogs, you guys don't want to see all the filler stuff in between that I'm going to be doing for fun for me and for the kids, you guys can just skip and wait till June 25th. So June, June 25th, it's a Monday, that's when that's coming out. Um, the next thing is, I just wanted to talk about, I had a meeting with my therapist about, I think it was a week ago, and when we're in the therapist office, like every single time he asks me, what do you want? And I get really frustrated because I'm like, gosh, I've told you what I want, like, everybody knows what I want, you know, like, I thought it was kind of obvious, and again, he asked me, what do you want, and I'm, I got kind of frustrated, and I just said, I don't, I don't want to be tired anymore, I don't want to be so mentally exhausted from my life, and I don't want to be alone, and I didn't want this to happen to my life, and I don't want my kids to have their parents divorced, I'm gonna grab a pillow, because I'm just really uncomfortable without sitting with a pillow, 
Anyways, like all these things, and he finally said, well, that's what you don't want. And I was like, what? And he said, that's what you don't want. What do you want? And I sat there and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want, I don't want this anymore. Like, I, I want my life to be different. I want it to be easier. I want this to have never happened to my family. You know, a million different things. And he said, well, what do you want? And I sat there for a really long time. It was like five minutes and I'm sitting like silently and finally Cody was like, can I say something? And the therapist was like, yeah. And Cody said, well, I'm guessing like she wants somebody who loves and respects her. And the therapist was like, well, yeah, but she can't even say that. And I'm sitting there and in my head I'm thinking because all the things that I want aren't realistic. I want my family to, to be together. I wanted this to never happen more. I can't change that. These things have happened. That's my life. That's the way that it is. I can't control another person. I can't make their choices for them. So that's not realistic. And then I finally said, you know, I want somebody who cares about me half as much as I care about everyone else. And the therapist said, well, how about as much as you care for other people? How about you find somebody who cares about you as much as you care for other people, if not more? And I was like, oh, well, okay. And he said, I want you to go home and write down what do you want for you? It doesn't have to be realistic, but what do you want? And he said, your fears and the things that are holding you back saying, maybe I don't deserve that, or it's not going to happen, it's not realistic, or if I let myself believe these things, it's going to hurt more when that's taken away from me, is what's keeping you from living the life that you deserve. And he says, isn't it time for you to start getting what you deserve? And not even in a selfish way, not even in a mind 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 way but like you deserve to be respected and loved and cared for it's okay to let yourself want those things and so i found this quote online the other day like right after my therapy session and it was actually kind of perfect so let me look it up really quick so i can't find the full quote and that's really kind of bumming me out because it was the full quote is really really good um and i just can't find it I actually sent it to a couple people because I was like, you know, you need to believe this too, but anyways, I can't find the full quote, but I'll give you the kind of gist of it and I found the very ending of the quote. So basically the quote is saying one of the biggest mistakes that we make is believing that we'll be worthy in the future or we'll be worthy if we make different choices or we would be worthy if we didn't make these mistakes. And she said that's one of the biggest mistakes because worthiness does not have prerequisites. Like, you are worthy right now, or you're worth that much right now. Um, and I thought that that quote was actually really, really great and really fitting. I'm trying to still find it, guys, but it's bumming me out that I don't have it. Yeah, so basically that's the gist of it, is that you are worth that much right now whether you've made mistakes or not. I think that's one of the biggest things that I like constantly nail in and talk about all the time is worth and it doesn't matter like if you've made mistakes, if you you know don't feel like it's realistic or you don't feel like you're worth this much because of you're not pretty or you don't do things as good as somebody else or you're not as talented as somebody else or you've made mistakes, you know. All of that is false. You are worth so much and you are worth that much right now. Um, and so that was a quote from, I'm going to butcher her name, but I think it's Brene Brown. And so she has some really, really great books. And they're just feel-good books about, like, forgiveness and worthiness and relationships. Just really great, like, feel-good books that make you kind of think, wow, like, I am worth this much. I am awesome. I am great. And so one thing that I've been wanting to do is a giveaway. And so that's what we're going to do. We are going to be doing a giveaway um, and we're going to be giving away two of her books. You guys can, if you win the giveaway, you can pick which book that you want. Um, and I'm really excited about it because I know a lot of people love her books. And if you haven't read them, you're definitely missing out. So, um, enter into this giveaway. So, to enter into this giveaway, all you have to do is leave your favorite quote down below. So it doesn't even have to be a feel-good quote. It could be a funny quote. It could be something from your favorite movie, from your favorite book. It could be honestly the most random quote ever or it could be a feel-good quote so just whatever you would like to leave down below leave one of your favorite quotes and that will enter you into this giveaway we're gonna have two winners you guys can pick which book you want and i'm really excited about it i am going to go show you guys this thing we've got a pro oh my arm 
I tanned and it's like one arm's darker than the other. Anyways, we got this product the other day from um, an Amazon company and I'm going to show it to you guys. This isn't the video where we're going to be actually doing it, but I'm going to just show it to you guys because I'm really excited for it. It's one of, we don't pick to show you guys any products that we don't like ourselves and this is something that I'm actually really excited about. So I'm going to go get it really quick. I'm going to show you guys the boys and then we'll move on with the vlog. So like I just said, we got this um, product the other day from an Amazon shop. It's a Kazori, I think that's how you say it, premium pressure cooker. So I'm really excited about it. Before I show you guys it, leave recipes down below because we're going to kind of do a cook with me, like share our secrets video where we just chat and like tell you guys secrets and cook something but I don't know what meal to even cook in here so leave down below different meals that you can use in a pressure Both cooker us. and I'm gonna show it to you guys really quick because we're pretty excited about it the reviews on that? Amazon were really great yeah. and Both it seems meals. like a lot of people love it so you can make a lot of stuff with this pressure cooker oh, oh, yes. here turn it I think it says like on there somewhere <laughs> different things that you can make with it. That's everything included. Um, it's a little picture. The picture of a whole bunch of different things. <coughs> you can make yogurt. Um, oh, here it is. Saute, slow cooker, yogurt maker. There's a few of them. So you can do a whole bunch of different things with it. This is what it looks like. And all the different <laughs> sparrows turning it for you guys. Um, and then let's see what's included in it. Turn it this way. So what's included in it is a lid, sparrow, pressure cooking lid, ceiling ring, recipe book. Oh, maybe just use the recipe book. Steamer rack, pressure cooker base, inner pot, a couple of spoons, and we're gonna open it up and show it to you guys. If you guys want to get this pressure cooker, I'll have the link down below. Like I said, it had really great reviews on Amazon. I think it was one of the top um, pressure cookers on Amazon. So we're gonna show this to you guys really quick and then probably next week we'll have the cook with me video. Also, if you guys have any questions, leave those too because we're gonna kind of just share secrets and talk and chat while we're cooking whatever oh. we choose to cook. But that's what it looks like. So the lid turns to unlock. Ooh. And everybody else is kind of mellow because they're sick and I'm just kind of like hyper. <laughs> so. You guys didn't notice he was kind of sick. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can put like chicken on there or something. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. This is rice. Okay, so like I said, um, we're gonna let you guys follow us around for the rest of the day. We're probably not going to do much because you want to <coughs> put up the lights today, maybe? Sure. Okay, this is just going to turn into a giant food vlog today. Um, we got roast <coughs> noodles, and then I squeezed some fresh lemon in there. I seasoned it with lemon pepper seasoning, and then I put olive oil, salt, and pepper. Random, I put eggs in there, I guess, because most people eat meat and the boys don't, and so I just put eggs. And then we're about to add broccoli. Broccoli. And the seasoning actually turned out really good, so we'll see how this ends up tasting. It's just kind of a random pit of random food. Okay, Sparrow, you ready to eat dinner? Oh, come on, you ready to get down and eat dinner? Okay, here's Bodhi over here. He's more than ready. Huh? You're more than ready, aren't you? No, because Sparrow doesn't like broccoli, so. Oh my gosh, isn't he the cutest thing you guys have ever seen? I just buy his because I'm your mama, but you're stinking cute. You're so cute. So Bodhi's doing little baby lead weaning so he can kind of eat what we're eating. And he actually really likes it. He's been super picky with food. So he only likes beans. He kind of likes bread. He's been iffy on the eggs. But it's like most stuff that we give him, even like pureed stuff, he's been really picky on. But he seems to really like this food. The square, and then we could also do the cinnamons. I don't know. Okay, so we're outside. I didn't tell you guys, but um, <laughs> we're trying to figure out. We've got two strands of lights. If we should go just around the top areas, right there, or if we should do something fancy and like cut across in the middle, more like that. 
What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm kind of liking the cut across in the middle. But if we're keeping that light up there, that might look dumb. Yeah. So let's just do the square for now, and then we want, we want to add the middle later. Do that. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. We yes. have this rock out here from last year we need to finish. We never got the rock for the front part, so we need to do that. And then I'm going to also show you. We have this curtain rod up there. We're going to put an outdoor curtain. We're going to have the lights. We're going to put, we have a fire pit and a rug we're going to put out here. And then we might get some chairs. But yeah. Hopefully, I've been wanting to put lights out here for a while, so hopefully it turns out cute. I wish we had a little back patio too, or like a little gazebo area. No, look at my butt, it's so itchy. Not that you guys need to know that. <laughs> I'm gonna come in, check on the boys. Bear's watching Carl and finishing his dinner. And then I'll come back out and show you guys again when it's almost done. So I lied, I was gonna wait to show you guys until we were done, but Sparrow and Bodie wanted to come outside. So they're just walking around. Sparrow's eating some Chick-fil-A ice. We love snacking on ice. And he's really liked Chick-fil-A or Sonic's ice, so we've been getting him those. That was like a treat. <laughs> Not exciting at all. There's a cat in the window. Yeah. The weather is so nice right now. It's so hot early. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Watching his brother. Watching brother. Guys, is this kind of stuff, like this simple stuff, it makes me so happy. Like just being outside with my boys, letting them play, like seeing how happy they are, makes mama so happy. It's all that I need in life. My two boys smiling. Sparrow loves being in the front yard. He loves exploring. We don't really have a backyard. Okay. Uh, we don't really have a backyard, so we're usually in the front yard. And he's really good to not go on the street and to listen to me when I say to turn around. And yeah. But this stuff makes me so happy being outside with my boys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is one of my favorite things. It's like when bye cars bye leave bye. from the neighborhood. Sparrow stops what he's doing and says bye bye car. Bye bye. He go. He went. Yep. Said he goes. It's one of my favorite things when we're outside. He loves to wave at everyone. Yeah. Yep. He's gone. Say bye bye. And he does it on his own. It's like the bye best way. thing I can prompt him to do it. Bye-bye. One hour later. Okay, we're gonna turn on the lights. Go ahead. Get a countdown, a drum roll. Three, two, Three. one. Mm. Woo! Little crazy. I think it turned out really cute. Like I said, we have like a little fire pit and a little rug we're gonna put some chairs out here and clean it up but i think it turned out really cute huh you love it buddy you love it it's time for the boys to go to bed though so we're probably i mean this vlog was really long anyways we're gonna end the vlog right now you ready boys sparrow come in the vlog come here he's like what he's been helping with the flashlight Hey, come over here. You stand up like a little bit farther than us. Look it. Get like all of us. Look it. Okay. Bye bye. See you guys next vlog. Hope that you enjoyed watching a little bit of our lives, huh? I can't Say get us all. Good night, boys. I have to do this. There we go. Mwah. Say bye bye, vlog. Bye bye. 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 bye.